do you like it, Joan? It's for squares. But what can you expect from a town like this? You know, Joan, I've never met a woman like you before. Uh, last night, uh, after I went home, I couldn't get you off my mind. I tossed and turned and twisted. I didn't know what to do. Uh, uh, finally, I, I got up and I went out and adjusted the tappets on my car. Did that help? Oh, yes. Now the motor runs much quieter and there's lots more compression. Oh, you're all flattered, Tom, comparing me to a valve job. <laughs> Uh, say, I have an idea, Tom. Uh, let's rush our dinner and have coffee elsewhere. I know a divine little place where you sit on cushions and drink Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee? Oh, yes, thick and sweet. The way I used to drink my coffee in Istanbul. Istanbul? Oh, exotic Istanbul. I left him standing in the rain. What a mess he was. Oh, poof. But that's another story. Oh, it's the dangerous kind, too. Black Widow, I know. I don't know. Joan, that's your eyelash. <laughs> oh, so it is. Oh, Tom, I, I didn't want you to know my little secret. But I assure you, Tom, it's the only thing about me that's artificial. <laughs> well, shall we order? <laughs> My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I have a slight case of uh, stigmatism. <laughs> Certainly printing the menus on nice soft paper these days, aren't they? Joan! We'll have time for romance later, dear. Much later. <laughs> See now. Uh, uh, <clears throat> May I take your orders, please? Oh, yes, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'll have the, uh, uh, the soup du jour and the uh, uh, eggs benedict and the uh, uh, Romanoff caviar and the magnum of Paul Roger. I'll have the same. Oh, well. girls our age have these little secrets. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Not at all. <clears throat> How about a roll? No, thank you. I'm not very hungry. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I lost my pivot tooth. I told that Dennis. I said, this time you put it in, boy. Make it stick. And I'll work it. I can... Now, pardon me, folks, but did you happen to see a pivot tooth? Well, if anything bites you under the table, it belongs to me. Is that a shame? I tell you, you can't trust these dentists these days. And the money you have to pay for a thing like this. There you are. How are you? Johnny, what have you done to yourself? Well, I... Uh... You never look better in your whole life. <laughs> oh, well, by the way, how's, uh, bread? Uh, bread? Oh, the bread's delicious. And so is the butter. Have some, dear. Bye. Uh, uh, Johnny, uh, aren't you, uh, you know... Very important man. Superior court judge, friend of Brad's. I'm here on a case of these. Uh, it's my veterinarian. <laughs> Takes care of all my horses. Joey, 
maybe we ought to dance. Dance? Oh, I'd love to, Tom. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that, that's my mustard plaster. You are a mustard plaster? Yes, I had to. You see, I couldn't find a plug for my heating pad. Everybody conga! <laughs> Always goes out. Give it a push, would you, son? Oh, oh, oh. I think you did it too much, would you? But that did it. Thank you. I think we better sit down. I don't trust this thing at all. It goes out all the time. But, Joey, I thought we were going to dance and, and have fun. Well, I'm sorry I'm spoiling your evening, Tom. Oh, that's all right. No, I, I just think I'm all wrong for you. <laughs> Now that you know all about me after everything that happened tonight, I guess it's better if we just don't see each other anymore. Don't, no. Don't say goodbye. Just go. Go. No! Oh. <laughs> still here, huh? Yes. Johnny, nothing's changed. Uh, I still feel just the same way about you as I did. Yeah. You do? Sure. I don't think any of the less of my hot rod because it's old. And to me, you're just like my hot rod. Well, it rattles and, and it loses a fender or, or a bumper or something like that, but, well, it's dependable and, and it's reliable and, and, well, it has character. And, and that's the way I feel about you, Joan. How do you like that? I'm the last of the hot rod mama. <laughs> 